this morning I have the privilege to introduce a very special group of people who have your interests at heart and I believe you will give them the necessary cooperation, attention, you will not make so much noise. This morning I have the privilege to introduce and please forgive me if I'm mentioning your name wrongly. I have, we have in our presence United Israel, in, Israel United in Christ. Israel United in Christ. So please, Israel United in Christ, you are most welcome to the Archie from Susina High School. This morning, our students, colleague teachers, we have all cocked our ears to hear the message you have for us. You are welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shalom, brothers and sisters. My name is Deacon Abiel. Can y'all say Deacon Abiel? Son Jesus the Christ. Check this out, y'all. We're coming today with a secret that the world is unaware of. Many of you didn't know of this hidden truth that we're about to give to you today. But trust and assured, everything we're reading from is the Bible, okay? I got a quick question. Let me see if y'all can do a little respond with me. When I say who is the king, you say Christ. Y'all ready? The black Messiah is what you're going to find out today. We're going to show you in the Bible that Jesus Christ looked like you. Some of you may be shocked that you were taught this as you was growing up. But today you're going to learn. But first thing I want to do, I want to read something real quick. Give me Romans 15 and 4. Romans the 15th chapter and the 4th verse. Everybody can hear me clearly? Yes. All praises, all praises. You got that? Romans chapter 15 verse 4. Come on. For whatsoever things were written aforetime, were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Now listen up, listen up. This is by far the most important information you're going to hear. What we must do is read the Bible. Understanding comes from the Lord. Now watch this. Give me Revelation 1. The book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. Real quick, somebody tell me, what does Jesus Christ look like? Who knows what Jesus Christ looked like? Is it this man? Hold it up for me. Go ahead and take a walk. Let him see. Is this man, Jesus Christ, who you've been told or shown in your churches? It may be from your families that may have given you this image or you've seen it on TV. Is that Jesus? Jesus the Christ. Read Revelations 1 again. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. Read. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. So this is the revealing of Jesus Christ. To reveal means to show something. We're going to show you something that the world has hidden from you for far too long. Give me verse 10. No, verse uh, 12. Verse 12. Verse, verse 12. Come on. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. Uh -huh. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. Now wait a minute. Check this out, youngsters. What do you see with? Your eyes, right? John said he turned to see the voice that spoke to him. And being turned, he said he saw seven golden candlesticks. We got a menorah? Seven golden candlesticks, right? Read. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, uh -huh. one like unto the Son of Man. He saw Jesus Christ, one like unto the Son of Man. Read. Hold this one up too. I want y'all to tell me who's who. Read. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. He had a garment that went all the way down to his foot. Come on. And girt about the paps with a golden girdle. He had a golden girdle. Jesus Christ dressed like royalty. Come on. His head and his hair. His head. 
the head that was on his head and the hairs that was on his face were what? Were white like wool. White and woolly textured hair. You all tell me, whose hair looks like sheep's wool? When you look at a sheep, whose hair looks like that? Your hair looks like that. Everybody touch your head. Just say, the hair on your head, feel it. That's like sheep's wool. Who is this guy? That's not sheep's wool. Read that again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Read. As white as snow. As white as snow. Jesus Christ's hair was white when John seen him. Come on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes were as a flame of fire, fulfilling prophecy because he drunk wine. Read on. And his feet like a too fine brass. His feet looked like fine brass. What color is brass? Do we have a picture? Do we bring a picture with us? No? Yeah. Here we go. Like a penny. It says his feet look like fine brass. Now wait a minute. This and Broody doesn't have a uh, skin like fine brass. But you do. Read that again. And his feet like unto fine brass. Uh -huh. As if they burned in a furnace. As if it burned in a furnace. Now according to what we're reading, what Jesus Christ looks like, who looks more like Jesus? This man or this man? Raise it up if you think it's this man. Hold on, you raise yours first. Does it look like this man? No. no. Put that down. But does it look like you? Yes. Now wait a minute. Is Jesus Christ the only, only black man in the Bible? No. All of his people were black and they looked like you. Give me Job 30 and 30. The book of Job, chapter 30, verse 30. Read. My skin is black upon me. Wait a minute. What did Job say? My skin is black. Wait a minute. He said my skin is what? My skin is black upon me. What color did Job look like? Job the Israelite. What color was his skin, brothers and sisters? Black. Black. Wait a minute. We have many black people in the Bible, but we haven't been taught about them. Why? Because we've been disconnected from our true heritage. Give me another one. Give me King Solomon. Song of Song. Song of Solomon. One verse one. Read. The Song of Songs, which is Solomon. Does anybody here know who King Solomon was? King Solomon was the son of King David, of whom Jesus Christ came through his lineage. So we're going to read what King Solomon, an Israelite from the tribe of Judah, looked like. Read. Verse five. I am black. Wait a minute. What did Solomon say? I am black. is a black man. All of these black people in the Bible that you didn't know about. Why is that? Because we've been cut off. Give me Jeremiah 17. We're going to show you right now one of the biggest mysteries that the world has ever seen. That there's a secret hidden right here in Ghana. It's more precious than gold. It's more precious than cocoa. It's more precious than any resource Ghana has to offer. And it's its people. You, the children of Israel, you are the true Israelites of the Bible. You come from, the, uh, when you read about our forefather Jacob, you descend from that man. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob were your fathers. But we haven't been taught this. Why? Read. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4. Come on. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage. God said we would be disconnected from our heritage. Today we call ourselves Ghanaians. Today we call ourselves Africans. Today we call ourselves African Americans, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, Haitians, scattered all throughout the four, four corners of the earth, calling ourselves different names. That is not what God calls you. God calls you the children of Israel. This is where you come from. Watch this. Let's get a little bit of history. Give me Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Let's see if you all have been studying. I got a question. What happened to black people in the, in the early 1600s? Who came over here on slave ships and took black people away? Who remembers that history? Does anybody know anything about slavery? Who went into slavery with slave ships? 
It was your people. We're going to read that. Give me Deuteronomy 28. Read verse 15 first. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. So we're going to show you right now. The Israelites were given the commandments by God. And God told the children of Israel what would happen if they kept the commandments and what would happen if they did not keep the commandments. Let's see what would happen if we did not do the laws. Read. But it shall come to pass. Lord, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, Read. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So God said all of these curses would come upon the children of Israel and overtake us. Let's read one of these curses. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Deuteronomy where, where are them slave ships at? Yeah, get those ready. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Take a walk, brother. Let him see. Come on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now, God told the Israelites that they were going to slavery again because we were serving as slaves in Egypt. He said we were going to slavery again with what? With ships. With ships. What people went into slavery with slave ships? It was us, black people. You people here in Ghana, your forefathers, your ancestors went into slavery with ships. A lot of times we'll look at one another and we think we're different because where we live. Matter of fact, I'm from the U.S. I'm from the United States, right? I come from a place called Oklahoma. When I look at you, you look like the people that I come, where I come from. Same faces, same skin tones. But we've been told that we're different. We are not different. We're the same people. Your people were taken away by slave ships years and years ago. Why? Read that again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. God said because we didn't keep the commandments, we were going to slavery with slave ships. That happened to us. That is your history. We haven't been taught this because they don't want us to connect the dots. The so-called white man has lied to us about our history. We have to come back to our history and understand who we are. It says, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. With what? With ships. With ships. With ships. This is Bible prophecy coming to pass. Come on. By the way, where have I spake unto thee? Come on. Thou shalt see it no more again. Uh -huh. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. For bondmen and bondwoman. Wait a minute. It says, once we reach the destination of those slave ships, when we got to the Americas, what were black people in America? Let's see if you remember. When we got, when we got to America, were we the friends of white people? No. no. Were they our equals? No. no. What were we? Slaves. Bondmen and bondwomen. That's in the Bible. That that would happen to you. And it happened. Give me Deuteronomy 28, read verse 48. Here's another one. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Come on. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, Read. which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, uh -huh. and in want of all things. We had to serve our enemies. We serve the white man for everything that we want, even to this day. I had to have a white man sign a piece of paper so I could come over here to see your beautiful faces. Is that right? Yeah. No. We have to come back to God's laws, God's commandments. God says we would serve him in the one of all things, come on, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. We had to serve him for everything we wanted. We wanted food, we wanted clothing. If we wanted anything, we had to serve our enemies. God said he would put a yoke of iron, chains around our necks. Now wait a minute, when did that happen? In slavery. When they took our ancestors and brought them to the Americas, they put us in chains. They raped our women. They killed our young men. They killed our children. They would sell our children even as slaves. It says, he shall put a yoke of iron, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Upon thy neck. Come on. Until he has destroyed thee. Until he has destroyed us. When did those chains come above of our necks? When did the white man take those chains off of our feet and hands? When we were destroyed mentally. When we forgot who we were. We forgot that we are the Israelites. Give me that memory real quick. This was part of our destruction. This is why they told us this man is Jesus.
Jesus Christ. So that they would destroy our minds and hearts and we would not look at each other and see Christ anymore. We would look at this man and see Jesus. We would look at this image and see God. This is not God. This is not Jesus. We must come back. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 37. Let's get another curse that God said would happen to you. Read the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 37. Come on. And thou shalt become an astonishment. Uh -huh. A proverb and a byword. It said we will become an astonishment. A proverb and a byword. Do you all know what they call me right now in America? Do you know what white people call me in America right now? Y'all don't know? Have you ever heard of the word nigger? That's what they call me. If you go to America, guess what? That's what they're going to call you. But is that who we are? No, we're not niggers. We are the children of Israel. Say it with me. We are the children of Israel. One more time. We are the children of Israel. That is our nation. That is where we come from. We must come back to God's laws, God's commandments. Read that one more time. And thou shalt become in an astonishment, a proverb and a byword. Uh -huh. Among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. Not just in America, all over the world. They refer to us as the least. They think that we're not smart. They think that God is not with us. But guess what? God is with you. I came in here. I see y'all getting y'all's little jug on. I was like, okay, look at y'all. Yeah. Listen, we the flavor of the earth. Y'all understand that? Yeah. The world looks to you to learn how to dance, to learn how to run, to learn how to jump high. They look to us because God is with us. God has blessed us upon the face of the earth. But we can't get those blessings unless we keep God's commandments. You are the children of Israel. Drop that. Give me uh, 1 John chapter 2. 1 John chapter 2, and we're going to start at verse 3. We are going to stress to you the importance of keeping God's commandments. So what have we established? Who is this man? This man is the devil. This is not Jesus. Devil means deceiver. Put him down. Sit him down on his face. Give me this guy. Now that, that is a proper depiction of Jesus Christ, a true image of Christ. He looked like you. He wasn't a white man. He was black, darker than many of you here today. So we established that Jesus Christ is what color? Black. Say it again. What color? Black. Absolutely. Great job. Great job. Another thing we did establish. Who is the children of Israel? That's right. You are the children of Israel. So let's get back. First John chapter two, verse three. First John chapter two, verse three. And hereby we do know that we know him. If we keep his commandment. Who knows Jesus Christ? Who wants to know Jesus Christ? Watch this. Read that again. And hereby we do know that we know him. If we keep his commandments. The scripture said this is how we know we know Jesus. If we keep his commandments. If is a stipulation. Read on. He that saith, I know him. If you say you know Jesus, come on, and keep it not his commandments. But you don't keep his commandments. He is a liar. He say what? Is a liar. That man is a liar. If you say you know Jesus, but don't do what he says, the Bible says you're a liar. Read on. And the truth is not in him. And the truth is not in him. The truth is not in him. We don't want this to be us. Therefore, what must we do? Keep his commandments. Say it with me. Keep his commandments. One more time. Keep his commandments. This is what we must do to inherit the kingdom of heaven. Give me Matthews 19. Who wants to go to heaven? Hands up if you want to go to heaven. All praises to the Lord. We, we want to make it. We all try to make it, right? Matthews 19, 16. This is how you will get the kingdom of heaven. Read. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. Come on. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? He said, good master, he's talking to Jesus Christ. He said, Lord, what must I do that I might have eternal life? Who wants to live forever? I know I want to live forever. Some of y'all are a little unsure. Who wants to live forever and not die? Oh, y'all scared me today. and you passing away. When you do what Jesus said, you will live forever. Read on. 
Verse 17. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? Huh? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Do what? Keep the commandments. What did Jesus say? Keep the commandments. Keep the commandments. This is what we must do. So watch this. Give me first Kings chapter 8. Just a quick synopsis of what we've gone over so far. First Kings, the eighth chapter. Remember, we went to Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, to show you prophecy that God said, if we did not keep the commandments, we would not get the kingdom and we would go into slavery. And it happened in the 1600s. Our people were taken into slavery with slave ships. That's Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Our people received yokes of iron upon their necks and on their feet and on their hands. That's Deuteronomy 28 and 48. This happened to us for our lack of obedience. You got that? First Kings chapter 8 verse 46. Come on. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not, uh -huh. and thou be angry with them, Read. and deliver them to the enemy. Did we get delivered to the enemy? Yes. We went into slavery with slave ships. Hold that up. We went into slavery with slave ships and were delivered unto the enemy. Come on. So that they carried them away captives. We were carried away as slaves. This is your history. Some of you may have forgotten. But guess what? The slaves that was taken away, that was taken to the Americas, we didn't forget about you. We know where we come from. You must know where you come from. The house of Israel. Go ahead. Unto the land of the enemy. Or far or near. Eh? Yet if they shall bethink themselves. Yet if they shall bethink themselves. To bethink means to remember. You must remember that you're an Israelite. Before you were Ashanti. Before you were Fati. You were an Israelite. That's what God called you. That's what the Lord referred to you as. It says if they bethink themselves, come on. Yet if they shall bethink themselves Free. in the land whither they were carried captive, uh -huh. and repent. And what? And repent. And what? And repent. And repent. That means we have to stop breaking God's laws. Stop breaking the laws of God. Many of us haven't been taught the laws. There's many things in the Bible that you have not been told about because man-made religions, where's that at? has deceived us. We've been lied to about what? About God. Because of these images and these denominations that was created. Now watch this. Give me Deuteronomy the seventh chapter. Deuteronomy chapter seven verse six. Watch this. For thou art an holy people. You, you Ghanians, you children of God, you children of Israel. Are right, holy people, come on, unto the Lord thy God. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. God has chosen you, each and every one of you. You, 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 yeah, you back there. I'm running you. You, God has chosen you, come on, to be a special people uh -huh. unto himself. He chose you to be a special people unto himself. Anybody here special? Do anybody in here feel special? Yeah. You should. Because God has chosen you. You are the children of Israel. Alright? Is that it on that verse? Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. God said he chose you above everybody on the face of the earth. Above all nations. God chose you. Come on. Is that it? So I got real quick. Because we're pressed for time. Does anybody have any questions on what we went over today? Don't be scared. We're here for you. We traveled all the way from Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, to see you. Anybody got any questions? Okay, well, if, oh, okay, you got a question. How you doing, sister? Stand up. Will this mic reach here? How are you doing? What's your name? Say it again. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your question? The thing is, yesterday, I read my Bible and said, Excellent question. She said, when are we going to see his face again? She said she read a scripture that said, said that basically in that day when we accept him as our Lord and Savior, we will see him. Right now we don't see him. Give me John 14 and 19. This is why some people 
don't see him. Read. The book of John, chapter 14, verse 19. Come on. Yet a little while, uh -huh. and the world see me no more. He says, yet a little while, and the world won't be able to see me anymore. But watch this, sister. Read. But ye see me. But what? But ye see me. You seen Jesus today. You seen in Revelation, the first chapter and the 14th verse, what Jesus Christ really looked like. See, what we've been told is that we got to wait to know. Oh, no. Jesus Christ says, the world can't see me, but you see me because I live. Read. Because I live, and ye shall live also. You shall live also. We must accept him as our Lord and Savior. Then and only then will we be able to see him. Give me Psalms 111 and 10. The way we see Jesus is through the scriptures. Like it states in the book of John. He says, he that believeth on me as the scripture hath said. As the scripture hath said. You got that? Psalms chapter 111 verse 10. Come on. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Read. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. All uh, says a good understanding have all they that do his commandments. You'll be able to understand and see Christ when you keep his commandments. Last one, go back to John 14. John chapter 14, verse 19, verse 15, verse 15. Listen up. If you love me, it says what? If you love me, who in here loves Jesus? Raise your hand. He says, if you love me, read, keep my commandments. Do what? Keep my commandments. Do what? Keep my commandments. Keep my commandments. That answer your question, sister? Read verse, verse 14. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. Turn around. Get close to him. Get close. Get close. <laughs> his head and his hairs were white like wool. The Bible says Jesus Christ's head and his hairs. The hairs on his head and the hairs on his beard were white and what? Like wool. Brother, who has hair like sheep's wool? Is it? Hold this up. Let me see this. Is it this man? No. Or this man? Or you You have hair like wool. Come on. As white as snow. And it was as white as snow. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Uh-huh. And his feet, and his feet, I can see your feet, your toes right now, bro. Go ahead. Like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Is brass white? Anybody got any white brass? No. Brass is brown like you. But watch this, read. As if they burned in a furnace. Now you burn that brass. What color is it? When you burn the brass, what color is it? Black, just like you. So you tell me, what color was Jesus? Say it again. Black. Black. What color was Jesus? Black. That's right. That's right. Any more questions? Any more questions? What's up, bro? Give me a pound. Now, if you ask what color Jesus is, brother, huh? You tell me what color is Jesus. I don't know the color of Jesus. Bro. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We just read it. You said no. You. I have a question first. According to what we just read, what did Jesus look like? I don't know the image of Jesus. One more time, Revelation chapter 1. We gotta, it in. We gotta get it in there, brother. You gotta listen, brother. This is the good news. Revelation chapter 1, one more time. Read. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. Come on. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Who has woolly textured hair, brother? Well, okay, but the first thing is, according to Revelation, this is what the Lord revealed to John. So how can I know that this, that what John is saying is the right image of Jesus? But Jesus, when you consider that uh, he's a blood, what about the image of this? Genesis said, he created man as his own image and likeness. So who is this? Listen up. 
he created man in his image. What color, brother? The color of the dust that we can see, low, uh, the brown one, the black, the dark. So we have different types of colors on uh, the, the ground. Brought these images. 
And they said, you better worship this Jesus or you will die. But this was not the true Jesus. This is not what Jesus Christ, the Son of God, looks like. He looks like you. We no longer can worship these images. We can no longer deal with these man-made religions. The time to wake up is now. All right, any more questions, family? Oh, yeah, because he asked about God. Give me Daniel 7. We're going to read, Jesus had woolly hair, right? Let's see what kind of hair God has. Read. Daniel chapter 7, verse 9. I beheld to the throne were cast down. And the ancient of days did sit. The ancient of days. Who is the ancient of days? God. Lord. Whose garment was white as snow. And the hair of his head. Like the pure wool. Like the what? Like the pure wool. What does God's hair look like? Like the pure wool. Like the pure wool. Like your hair. You look like the Most High. The Most High made you in His image, black and beautiful. Y'all understand me? Yeah. Okay, I'll pray for you. I'll pray for you. We ain't done yet. I got a question for y'all. How many of you love the Lord? All of you, right? Yeah. Everybody's hands should be should be up. How many of you are excited to celebrate Christmas next month? Uh oh. Give me Jeremiah. Jeremiah T. Let me this back around. Let this back around. You love Jesus, right? We have been taught lies. Man-made religions. Christmas is nowhere in the Bible. But we do it because we don't think. Watch this. Jeremiah 10. Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 1. Let's read the word of God. Come on. Hear the word which the Lord speaketh unto you. O house of Israel, thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. What did he say? Learn not the way of the heathen. God said, do not learn the ways of the heathens. Read on. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Come on. For the heathen are dismayed at them. The heathen are dismayed at them. Read. For the custom of the people are vain. The customs of the people are vain. They're lies. Come on. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Oh, wait a minute. This sounds familiar. For one cuts a tree out of the forest. They go out there and they chop it down. Chop, 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 chop. Come on. The work of the hands of the workmen. The work of the hands of the workmen. Come on. With the axe. Read. They deck it with silver and with gold. It says they take that tree and they decorate it with silver and with gold. What custom or what holiday anybody in here right now let's say 5,000 CDs yes. if you can show me right now the word Christmas in the Bible uh oh uh oh uh oh no way you tell me Christmas is not in the Bible no it's not in there You've been tricked, read, put it again, by man-made religions. God said, learn not the customs. He said, if ye love me, keep my commandments. So you have a choice to make today. You have a choice to make if you are going to love God as he has told you to and keep 
his commandments. I appreciate y'all for having me. All praise be to the most high. We are Israel united in Christ. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.